Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we want to take a look at the alignment tools of MV Tech Merlec. In this example, the printed circuit boards move around from image to image. Our goal is to align all images so they all appear in the same orientation. To align the images correctly, this tool needs alignment data. This data can be created using a previous tool, either determine alignment with matching or determine alignment with straight border. First, let's take a look at determine alignment with matching. We should choose a more appropriate training image. We look for an image which is aligned well. By clicking on this arrow, we replace the training image. Next, we want to create a model for matching. Merlick's EasyTouch feature simplifies this process by visually indicating whether a region is suitable for creating a reliable matching model. The green square indicates that EasyTouch has detected a suitable number of unique edges to create a reliable model for matching. However, as we will see in a moment, you still have to check whether you consider these edges suitable. Red means that there are not enough edges, or the edges are not considered unique enough. If there are no suitable edges at all, the square disappears. For example, if we choose this region of interest, these are the edges that Merlick would try to find in the other images. This might not be very robust because the reflections might change when the object is rotated differently. Instead, we choose this region. The edges are very clear and should be easy to detect in the other images. When stepping through the images, we see the matching works well for some images. The score is high, indicating that the found object is very similar to the trained model. In other images, no match is found at all. Here, a false match is found, which has a low score. To make sure you don't get any false matches, you might want to increase the input parameter minimum score. In this case, we can simply increase the orientation tolerance to 180 degrees to find the board in every rotation. Now, when running the program, the matching works in all images. Additionally, you can add a second region of interest in the training image using Easy Touch Plus. This increases the robustness of your alignment. Now we can connect the alignment data with the tool Align Image. When running the program, all images are aligned correctly. Let's open another set of images. These sheets of metal are not aligned. Matching might not work very well here because the text is always different and the edges are not very unique. Instead, we use Determine Alignment with Straight Border. Again, we choose a training image with a good alignment. Using Easy Touch, we select a horizontal edge to use for the alignment. The size of the region which was created determines the area within which the edge will be searched. To allow for movement of the object, you can increase the size of this region. Next, we insert Align Image again. The alignment data is connected automatically. However, we don't need the region of interest of the previous tool and therefore remove the connection. When running the program, we see that the alignment already works very well in the horizontal direction. To align the object vertically as well, we go back to the alignment tool and add this edge. Again, increase the size of the region to allow for movement of the object. Now, when running the program, all objects are aligned well. But what do we need this alignment for? For example, we might want to measure and check the size of each object. For this, we can actually remove the tool Align Image. More on this in a moment. Instead, we add the tool Processing, Measuring, Measure Opposite Edges. The alignment data is connected automatically. 
Remove the connection to ROI again. Using EasyTouch, we define the edges we want to measure. Then, we step through the images. We can see that the region is aligned in all images thanks to the alignment data. Thus, the measuring works without the tool align image. This concludes our video. You can download the images used in this tutorial to try these tools out for yourself. Check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials and information about our products. Thank you for watching.